What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on Lex Alexis today. It is some more championship score predictions for week 18. On the left hand side of the screen are the updated championship prediction league after the midweek games. I gain no points out of it and I'm really, really struggling in the league position at the moment and I really need to try and build my way back up. I will be going for it this week. Remember guys, you can also take part in the prediction league by simply commenting this weekend's games. The list of games are listed in the description below and you can make your prediction in the comments just as long as you predict before the games kick off. If you guys like what you see, please give a video a like. It just tremendously helped the growth of this channel. Please hit that subscribe button if you've not done so, as that really does help the growth of this channel. We're trying to push to 2,000 subscribers and please also share the channel too. All these things take very little time, but both really, really help the growth and sustainability of this channel. But without any further ado, let's try and predict all of these weekend championship games. <laughs> Let's start off with tomorrow's game, Birmingham versus QPR. This is going to be a late game and I am thinking of streaming this as well since I've not really seen a lot of Birmingham so far this season and I want to know why Birmingham have done very, very well in their way, you know, with their off the field issues. But the fact that they're already on 20 points and looking relatively safe at this moment of the time is remarkable for them. But having said that, Coventry are closing the gap on them. They currently occupy 22nd and Birmingham are only three points ahead of them. And for them doing pretty well, they did lose in their last game against Blackburn Rovers. They were away from home and they did have a load and load of chances, but they absolutely squandered them. So they could potentially use this opportunity to right the wrongs that they had in those games. QPR are just continuing to have a brilliant season. They are second place despite Burnley playing in midweek there. So they still remain in the top two and actually have a game in hand at, um, ahead of Burnley as well. But for what I will say about QPR, whilst they're still able to win, they've not really been able to win many games convincingly. The only game that I can pretty much give an exception to was a 3-0 win over Cardiff. The rest of them have only been win by one goal. So I'm pretty uncertain that QPR are going to be blowing teams away, especially with their last away game being an away defeat against Luton Town. So they'll be hoping that they don't repeat that misfortune there. As a prediction, I think it'll be a 1-1 draw. I think both teams will go into this game with a good amount of quality. I think it'll be quite pretty close. I think Birmingham will edge a bit better being at home. But QPR are also decent size, so I'll go for a 1-1 draw. Let me know what you guys think of that in the comments down below. Another early game we've got is Bristol City versus Swansea. Now, this, I, I'm a bit conflicted on what to predict for this one here because Bristol City have been relatively inconsistent. They've been either winning and drawing and switching, um, you know, between a loss and a win in their last six games. A bit like for what Blackburn had before they started improving their form. Swansea, as a whole, have done very, very well. Four wins they've picked up in their last five. I watched them very recently in the South Wales dub against Cardiff. They looked very comfortable and very composed. Probably still not perfect with their finishing, but overall, Swansea do look much better. And they actually look better balanced with their attack and most importantly their back line and that's really going to be important but having said that bristol city have been very erratic they can either play teams off the park and play incredibly well like they did when they won against west brom or they could be very very incredibly lackluster and lose out in their game which is you know exactly what they did in their last game against reading as a prediction however i just have a very suspicious feeling that bristol city might get something here and i am actually going to go for a rare bristol city 2-1 win i actually think i need to predict a couple more unpredictable results and i think this game is a perfect example i think a lot of people will be predicting swansea for them having a good run of form but birmingham can shock teams on their day and swansea with um you know their last away game that was a 4-0 defeat to burnley so maybe they've just not got a good um bug in terms of their waveform so i'm gonna go for a 2-1 bristol city win probably makes no sense but that's exactly 
what the championship is all about unpredictable and results that just don't make a single bit of sense next game to predict is West Brom versus Sheffield United now this is going to be a very peculiar game for me to preview because it's West Brom's first game with brand new manager Carlos Corbran a very mixed reaction for what I've seen from the West Brom fans I definitely think it's a better option for what they had in Steve Bruce at the time I just think it's going to be very interesting to see if Corbran can turn West Brom around in a very quick amount of time you knew how long it took for him to eventually be backed and you know he got the best out of that Huddersfield team it took him a full season and then within the second season he managed to get Huddersfield um, playing some incredible stuff so West Brom are very much a team who really need to start playing well now since they're really really struggling um, with their form at the moment they're currently 23rd place in the table of course as with their opposing team Sheffield United then then themselves are not doing well in their form as well they've not won in their last six and something really does need to change with um, Sheffield United at this moment in time because slowly but surely they are going to start falling away and they actually had the longest unbeaten run in the league um, Sheffield United before this recent form hit them there and I think injuries are now starting to catch up with them I predict that West Brom will play better because of their managerial bounce and managerial change and I think that might actually trounce a very injured and depleted Sheffield United team. So as a prediction, I'm going to go for a 2-0 win West Brom. I actually think they actually might get a relatively good win. So I'll go for a 2-0 win for the home side. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Burnley versus Reading. I think Burnley, for me, are being the best team of the championship so far this season. Whilst their result, you know, doesn't suggest that they play particularly well for just sneaking a 1-0 win over Norwich from a penalty... But their performance overall, you know, considering how good Norwich have been in parts of the season, Burnley, for me, have definitely adapted the best with a new identity. And I definitely think, I really want this style to stay. I think it really does suit Burnley, actually. And I've got to say, also the recruitment that company's made as well, I think has been sensational. So, honestly, he's done a really, really good job. Reading have also done a really good job to get to their position, their 8th place in the table where most people predicted them to go down. However, Reading did have a very poor run of form. They had three defeats in a row before they did manage to win their last game, of course, against Bristol City, which I suddenly mentioned. However, with their away form, they've not been too impressive. They have lost their last two away games by one goal. But I think against top of the league, Burnley, where they've not lost at Turf Moor yet this season, I think it's going to be very daunting for Reading. As a prediction... I'm going to go for a 3-0 win to Burnley. I think they may score a quite a fair few goals in this one. A 3-0 win to the home side. Let me know what you think of that in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Cardiff versus Rotherham. Cardiff are really struggling right now. They've still not got a permanent manager in. And they're only above the relegation zone by one point. And Coventry do have two games um, in hand against them as well. They'll be hoping for the likes of Middlesbrough, Wigan and maybe Blackpool or even Stoke to slip up. Um, because right now, Cardiff, if they don't get a good result and teams below them start picking up points, then Cardiff will be in the bottom three after this weekend. Rotherham are proving to be a team that are just shocking people. They did manage to lead against Coventry twice, however, and did throw it away both times. I think against this Coventry side, which are playing for their lives and playing with some grit, I think it's going to be a tough game for Rotherham. But to be fair... They really did make things very interesting. And I've got to say, I think Matt Taylor is now starting to implement his ways. I think there's still a bit of vulnerability with their back line. I think that's the only thing with Robin for me. But with their goal scoring, they've definitely more than earned their place to be a championship team for me. I think that's definitely been their biggest improvement. As a prediction, I am tempted to edge Robin here, you know, but... Something tells me that Cardiff may try and bounce back from that awful South Wales derby, which ultimately the game changed when Callum Robinson got sent off, and I don't think he's going to be available for this game either, so that might make things a bit tricky for them there. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. I don't think Cardiff are going to have enough to win this, but it's just determining whether Rotherham are going to completely blow them away because, honestly, it's really, really tough. I think it'll be a a really equal game um, based on the scores that we got. So I'll go for one more draw. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Coventry versus Blackpool. I see this as a big opportunity for both sides to potentially make some ground from the relegation pack. Coventry will, with a win here will definitely put them out of the bottom three and will put them on 20 points as well, which is a tremendous recovery considering where Coventry were a couple of game weeks back. 
Blackpool have already picked up a, an exceptional win over their derby game against Preston North End. It puts them on 19 points and I definitely would say if Blackpool can continue churning for one great result, I definitely think that actually might be a good enough uh, strategy for Blackpool to survive. I don't necessarily see much consistency there. I think they're gutted in a way, obviously, with Neil Critchley's situation with Aston Villa, with Gerard being uh, sacked quite recently, it's likely Critchley has left as well. So it's a bit of a bitter pill for Blackpool to swallow, but I think in general, they've coped very well with the circumstances here. But with this game, oh, this is going to be really tricky. I think both teams will go for it. But I think with Coventry being the home side, I might edge them. I'm going to go for a 2-1 home victory to Coventry. But I think that's going to be really, really tight, actually. So this game could go either way. I think both teams have definitely got the quality to get three points. I'll edge Coventry. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Huddersfield versus Millwall. Huddersfield struggling, bottom of the championship. Only one win that Mark Fotheringham has picked up since he's taken over from Huddersfield. Mill, on the other hand, doing exceptionally well. Unbeaten the five and four consecutive wins. Then the most informed team of the championship if we measure the last five games. And that great form has seen Mill in the top six. And honestly, I definitely think defensively they're looking much more improved. I always remember being very critical about their defensive organisation, but they're now looking even more comfortable. And with their away form, I still think it's a bit of their weakness, to be honest. But they are picking up an away win when they need to. And actually, they won their last away game as well, which is how they've managed to stretch their form to as long as they did. Mill do have the capability to win away from home. And I think against bottom for league Huddersfield, I think they've got a good opportunity to even continue that form, to be honest. Huddersfield can definitely get something, but for me, I think based on confidence, momentum, which I think is one of the most important elements you need in a great team, I think Millwall will edge this. So as a prediction, I'm going to go for a 2-1 away victory to the away side. I definitely think Mill scores is just better. They've got the up hand, they've got the energy, they've got the motivation. I think I'll edge Mill with Force. So I'll go for an away win. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Hull versus Blackburn. This is very interesting as well for me. Hull have started to improve their form. They're still using a caretaker manager. Of course, they've not found a permanent manager yet. But they have won back-to-back -back games and emphatic wins as well. 3-1 away against Blackpool and 4-2 away against Rotherham. So, two very emphatic wins and two games with loads of goals in as well. Four goals in that Blackpool game, six goals in that Rotherham game there. So, they're definitely proving to be very entertaining. I mean, defensively, it's shown that they definitely need to tidy some things up. With Blackburn, they've still managed to keep in the race in terms of the top two with three wins in a row. And they have picked up an away win as well, which is another team I've been criticising for their poor away form. But they managed to win against Middlesbrough. Now, I think in this game, I see goals, personally. I think both teams have got the capability for trying to outscore each other. And knowing my luck, it's going to turn into a nil-nil draw um, now that I've predicted a high-scoring game. And I'm actually going to edge Hull City, you know. Hull are going to have great momentum in around this time. And I definitely think with them being at home as well, they've been pretty decent with at home all season. Blackburn, a little bit more trickier to predict whether they're going to stay consistent. They've not been relatively consistent. So therefore, I'm going to predict a shock and I'll go for a 3-2 Hull win. So a home win, I've predicted here. Yeah, let me know what you think of that in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Luton versus Sunderland. Another tight game I think this is going to be. Both teams with some recent disappointment in their form. Luton lost out pretty embarrassingly in the M1 derby against Watford to lose by four goals to nil. It definitely was not an enjoyable game for Luton Town whatsoever. It saw them go down to 10 men as well, so... It went from bad to worse for them. It was a disaster class from Luton Town and just a bad day in the office for Nathan Jones, unfortunately. They face a Sunderland team where they're definitely feeling the effects of not having their top two strikers being fit. They've lost back-to-back -back games, 2-0 to Blackburn and obviously 4-2 against Burnley very, very recently. I just think they're still not really finding that balance of managing to score but also keep that clean sheet as well. I think definitely some players playing from a little bit more deep have to get more involved in the attacking line to support 
the options that they've got, you know, whether that be Roberts or Pritchard or Embleton, you know, we're going to potentially have people, you know, like Clark being a little bit more advanced, but then leaving space from behind, potentially even seeing some more midfielders involved, whether that's going to be Evans, whether that's going to be Dan Neal. So right now, I definitely think Sunderland need to be a little bit more careful with their balance, especially coping with the first team injuries that they've got. I think as a prediction, I think Luton have been more likely to back. I think they've got that bounce back ability and we've seen it a couple of times. But I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. I think both teams will cancel each other out for me. I can't necessarily back a team. I think it's that tight. So I'll go for a 1-1 draw. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Norwich Stoke. Now, both teams are now probably deciding that this is going to be a pretty disappointing season. Norwich, four defeats in their last five matches. And it was a devastating one against Burnley, really. And they did have the chance to potentially even get something there. You know, Pookie missed a really big chance. It wasn't like it was 1-0 and Norwich didn't threaten. Norwich threatened at times, but apart from those two shots, they did sod all, honestly. And they really need to try and have this confidence back. If they don't play with confidence, they're ultimately going to struggle against a Stoke team where I think right now they're also proving to be very, very inconsistent as well. Two wins in a row, and then that's followed by two defeats in a row. So... You never know with Stoke, and in fact, it's better back home defeats as that they've had as well. So, I'm a little bit worried about their current affairs in their home games. As a prediction here, however, oh, it's going to be really, really interesting. And of course, Alex Neal going up against his former club in Norwich as well. So, it'll be an interesting rivalry there. I think they'll cancel each other out again. I'm going to go for a one or draw, predicting a couple of draws, but that's ultimately me not being able to decide, you know, which team is going to turn up more in a day. So, both teams struggling, so I'll go for a result that doesn't help even them in a 1-1 draw. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Preston Middlesbrough. So this is the second time we're going to mention a new manager. Middlesbrough have officially appointed Michael Carrick as their new boss. He was their new manager announced at the start of this week on the Monday. A very big, bold move. A bit of a gamble for me because he definitely has potential. But Middlesbrough are in a very precarious position. They're not in the bottom three, but bad results, um, you know, would see them drop back down there. And I think Middlesbrough should have some big expectations. I don't know if they want to go for a long-term project with Carrick because I'm not necessarily going to be fooled that I don't think he'll be able to turn things around very, very quickly. I think it's going to have to be a very slow process. Preston are currently going through a little bit of limbo at the moment, you know, from being so defensively solid, they've then conceded four goals against their nearest rivals in Blackpool, a 4-2 humiliating derby defeat. Are the wheels starting to fall off for Ryan Lowe and Preston? We put, could potentially start seeing that there. And I think, just like with West Brom, I think we will get a good positive performance from the new team with a new manager, with a manager who bounce. As a prediction, I'm going to actually go 2 0 Middlesbrough because of that. I think Carrick will have a good start. It will definitely not be a help for Preston, but I think with fresh manager, new ideas, I think Middlesbrough will play well. Let me know what you think of that in the comments down below. Final game to predict is Wigan versus Watford. Wigan, there's no doubt in my mind, they definitely are starting to drop down their form a little bit. Liam Richardson has recently signed a three year contract, so the owners are definitely backing Richardson to get Wigan out of the current situation at the end, which is 19th place, which I think what most people would have predicted, but we've definitely seen with the amount of wins they picked up already this season, five wins in 16, is that they can have great results, but likewise with so many of the teams, just not consistent enough to really climb up the table. And with three defeats in a row, they are consistently now dropping points. So they've got to be very, very careful with um, what they've got to try and do long-term. You know, one or two more defeats, could see Wigan in a very, very tough situation. Now, Watford had a terrific M1 derby win. So we're talking about Luton having a bad M1 derby. Watford, on by direct contrast, had a brilliant one, a 4-0 victory. It was the near-perfect performance. It had absolutely everything going Watford's way in that game. And I think they may be able to carry that into this game as well, honestly. I think after that performance against Luton there... It's proved to me that Watford can play incredibly well and they do mean business. It's just whether they turn up, really, to be honest. 
As a prediction, I think they will. I think they'll go for a little bit of form now. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 away victory to Watford. And this is also due for Wigan not having a great home form either. Only winning one of their home games all season. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 away victory to Watford. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So guys, that's all my predictions now concluded for the Championship Week 18 predictions. If you guys enjoyed the video today, let me know in the comments down below. Please do like share and subscribe to the channel as all those things really do help the growth of this channel i'll be streaming birmingham and qpr tomorrow so keep your eyes on that and keep your eyes on more stuff on this channel because i'll definitely be posting some more things asap thank you guys so much for watching you guys are legend jay for this video and as always i'll see you guys soon take care everyone